Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Cap and welcome back to the channel We're playing some more Minecraft. Gotta show you guys what I did. It's been a little bit of time. I cleared out a few trees, just kind of make it a little bit look a little better. And then I worked on the upper structure of my house. Yeah, I realize having a two by two window here doesn't match up with a one by one door, but I'm not putting in a double door. This isn't a business. So that's pretty much what I managed to get done last night. J well, over the last day, basically, I'm going to try to do some things like that off camera just to kind of keep it going. So I'll have a little bit of a peaked roof. I got my purple bed over here. Once I get some sand, I'll make some glass and we start putting some windows in here. So that's kind of a thought I had. Well, this is not really the thought. This is what it's going to be like right here, I think. Um, I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I want to do the roof. And there, I can always like change up colors and stuff later on. Uh, let's see, I used a little bit more iron because I had to make another axe. While I'm over here, I had an idea. I'm not entirely sure how well it'll go over, but I need to go over to... Ooh, nice, some chickens. I need to come over here to the beach area because I know there's sand right next to the water and get some of this, and that way I can start making some of the windows. Are these mushrooms? And can I just... I got a mushroom! Sweet! I'm willing to bet this is one of those you can make some soups with. Some mossy cobble? Cool! Let's go ahead and pick these up real quick. And is this... Wait, what is this? So just... Okay, it's just regular dirt. Okay, all right, never mind. No big deal. Anyway, so um, I'm having a thought process that what something I might do is uh, build a mine system under my house. And uh, I'll show you as soon as I get back. How much sand did I get? Ten, that's enough for... I need two more. Uh, that would be enough for a couple two-by-two two windows here. Let me get one more. Right. Chaw. Yeah, I can always come back for more. I'm not worried about that specifically right now. Anyway, let me show you what I meant inside the casa here. That looks pretty good. We still got all these floating dirt blocks from the last time we were chopping down trees and going about it the other way. Hold on. You know what? Let me get rid of this real quick because that's just... We don't need this large phallic symbol floating in front of our house. Okay. Probably one of the uglier houses I've ever made, but no big deal. So what I thought about doing is kind of like maybe gate off a spot right over here and I can put like a gate right here, go in and then just do, 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 you know, straight downstairs and goes under and we just dig a while until maybe we find something. I don't necessarily know. There's no guarantee we'd find a mine system underneath there, but you never know. Uh, okay, so I don't have, let me see, I do have some cobble. Let me see, I can go like this and make myself another furnace real quick. I have one over at the cave house, but this will work just for now. Okay, put you in there. And I think two should do it. I know you can put wood in there as well, but I'm going to leave that as is. Uh, okay, so that's one of the things that I need to do. Let me see. How much wood do I actually have? I've got I've got a decent amount. Let me see. If I, if I can remember how to do this. Is it like this? Ha-ha! I remembered how to make a fence. Sweet. I don't know exactly how many I'm going to need, so we'll start off with just a chunk of them. Yeah, I can always kind of math it out if I need to. 12, that is definitely not going to be enough. Now, of course, trying to remember exactly how to build a uh, gate, I don't necessarily know. So what I'm thinking about doing is put in a door right here in my house. And this will go out to my little garden that I can have gated off. That way I can get in and out of from inside the house and I don't have to worry about these idiots connecting to it here. So if I was going to do like, let me see, one, two, three, walking path, one, two, three. Then I need to have it like this. I need to have another dirt block right, not right there, but right there works like this. And then we can curve it back this direction. All right, so I'm going to need one, two, three, four more. That's not... Oh, of course, I'm going to need four more. This will keep the idiots from being able to get inside because they can't climb over the gates, nor can I. You can't you can't jump over the gates because it's like one and a half blocks tall, but eh, no biggie. All of this will get kind of organized later on once I have a little bit better situation. Let's see. Do like that. Do like that. Like that. Uh, I guess I don't really have much of a... Ch of a choice here. I guess I'll just take you for the three that I need here and hope that they don't decide to come in through the corner here. One, two, three. Uh, okay, so temporarily, till I make some more, let's do like that, just temporarily kind of block it off. And from here, what I can do is I kind of have an idea I want to make a farm. Uh, this way I can kind of grow my own foods and stuff. I do need to make... Do I have any more wood? I have a little bit. That'll help out a little bit. Okay. I don't need nothing... I don't need anything major. We'll just get a regular old hoe like this. Then we can start tilling up the ground. Now, 
I cannot remember. I cannot remember if I need some. Uh, okay. The way that the water source has changed in what you need in order to be able to grow things, it has changed uh, since the last time I played this year. I don't remember if I can just straight up. Uh, can I just plant these? I uh, see. I don't think. I think I have to have a water source in order for this to stay. Uh, for these to actually grow, I think I do need to have a water thing underneath. Um, I guess I can plant. Getting wheat seeds is pretty freaking easy. It's not really a big deal at all. So I guess if it doesn't work and I need to undo this, then I can. Um, I can always put water underneath. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that and see what actually happens. Because at one time, you know, when I was actually comfortable playing the game more often, you had to have water within a certain number of blocks from where your crops were or it wouldn't grow. Will that still work that way? I don't know. I, if so, what I can always do is dig underneath and put a trench of water underneath. Uh, let me see. Speaking of, what I need to do, I need to make myself... Is that still how you do it? That's how you make a bucket. <laughs> I love it when I remember things. It's just lovely. I kept trying to come out last night to take a look at the house and how I was building it to see what it looked like because I thought, you know, hey, I want to see what this looks like. Every time I came out, there was either a group of spiders, a freaking uh, creeper, all kinds of things over there. So what I'm going to do to start with real quick, just so I don't have to keep going back and forth, is I'm going to make myself a water pool. And uh, that way I can kind of go back and forth with it. I don't need to have anything major. So what I'll do is right here, so I don't fall in it. We'll do a two by two. I need you to go like this. Okay, so I do need to have one more. Let me go get that real quick before it's dark and all the idiots decide to show back up. Fortunately, I still have a tremendous number of trees I can chop down. Boom, infinite water. How lovely is that? How many of y'all were playing back in the day when you could do this with lava? A very, very early alpha, you could make an infinite lava pool, which was fantastic because, you, well, you needed it all the time to be able to make cool lava stuff. And then Notch decided to patch it out long, long, long ago for whatever reason. Okay, so we'll see if I actually can do this or not. If not, what I can, like I said, I can dig underneath, put a roll of water all the way underneath, and it will be good to go as well. Um... I think that's going to work. We'll try it out. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let me get my glass here. Yep, we're getting all kinds of new recipes. And bloop, 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 and bloop. Now we have a window. Do I need to have glass there? No. I Nothing can climb up. Okay, let me rephrase that. A spider could probably climb up there, but I'm not going to worry about that right at the moment. Let's see, and I was going to do one directly across from this. We have a window in the... Did I go all the way up? Yeah, I did. Directly in the back, and uh, that way we have a window on both sides of it. Allow a little bit of light in here. Boom. I'll finish working on the top of the eave on that side here in just a little bit. It's kind of looking sort of like a house. Kind of looking like a home. Now, what I probably could do, just temporarily, could put one right here with just a, a small hole. And we'll put one right here. Like that. Boom, skis, just like that. Now we have those right there. Okay, so I got a couple more of those. Let me put you up there. Uh, let's see. I have some wheat, spruce. I think any and all seeds I have over remaining are at the uh, the cave house, basically. So I'll have to go get those. I think this is going to work. I, uh, I'm i generally kind of curious. See, something else that I used to do, and I'm not a... You know what? Just in case. We're going to do this anyway because I want to. Uh, let me see. Get like this. Also, because I think it just kind of looks cool. I don't necessarily know if I need to, but we're going to anyway. Okay, so I have some of those. I got my bucket. Now, let me see if I can remember how to do this. That's just a regular plate. It's a pressure plate. Okay, is it like that? Yeah, that's what I need right there. It's just a couple slabs. Okay, put you right, y'all. Move you down into here so I can do like this. Let me see if I can... I don't think this will work like it used to. I think I need to have... Yeah, I think I need to have one more. I think you need to have one more source of water right there. You can make... This is the other way you can make an infinite water source is by having it in a straight line. Makes it a lot easier when you're trying to do farming because then you don't have to try and fill up every single block. Fill it like that and then you go like... Uh, hang on, I think you gotta go like this, like that. 
There we go. Now we're good to go. And then you can place this right on top of that. Like right here, like this. Boom. And now we have a water source underneath there, and we can walk back and forth on here. That way it kind of looks kind of cool, but it looks like it is hydrating it properly. So that's always good. Nice. Cool. All right, that's a pretty good start. Anyway, like I said, I think I might do... Like, maybe I could start digging out right here, and I could just put a fence right here, because I'm not going to need this entire house. Or what I could do is just start over here. That way I still have that little spot. Uh, let me see. Do I, I need to put you over here real quick just to kind of expand this. Now, I can't remember... This is going to be one of those I need to try it out. Okay, so I think, was it like this and then like that for a sign? I can always get more. Can you put signs on the front of chests anymore? I can't remember if you can or not. Oh, I guess you can. Stuff and fangs. There you go. Okay, so I know there was a time in life when you couldn't do this. And you had to like, we always had to put the signs right above it, which always made it kind of wonky. The only challenge I have with where my stuff is right now is if I want to try and go... I can't put anything up here because then I can't I can't uh, open up the chest if I do that. And if I put a chest right there, then the ceiling's too high. So I'm going to have to go like side by side with all these. Or what you can do is you can do a single chest and do like a checkerboard. Because then those can open up around each other. I don't know. I'm not necessarily sure how I'm going to go about doing that yet. Okay, well let's sleep so we can get to the next day. And we have daylight. Sweet. All right, let me have a quick glance over here at this and see that looks like it's doing okay. We need to go back to, all right, so let me, you, you, this stuff I'll keep on me. I like having some dirt on me just in case. All of these I'll keep with me. Let's go over to the cave house real quick and see what stuff we have over there we need to bring back. There's not a lot, but there's stuff over there that's definitely ours to keep. And I might have some more seeds over there. Like I said, seeds are easy to get. You just beat apart some dirt. And you can, you know, get the occasional seed. It's not a guarantee every time. All right, how much crap do we have over here? We got a decent amount. I, by the way, uh, since I play so much seven days that I, every time I open a chest, and I'm trying to take this stuff. I keep trying to click um, R to take everything, and it's not working. So let me see. I should be able to take all of this without completely engulfing my inventory. Nice. Okay, so then I can take you. I don't need you just yet. I don't need you just yet. I don't need any of you guys just yet. So what I'm going to do is just kind of hang out. I'll let you hang out here for now. Bring you home with me here in a little bit. But we did get a bunch more wheat seeds. Making bread is probably the easiest way to get food early on. I mean, yeah, you can track down and kill some animals and cook them that way. But if you're just basic digging, you end up getting uh, seeds. And all you have to have is three pieces of wheat to be able to make any form of bread at all. So it's not like it's a really challenging, difficult thing to do. Y'all still looking good over here? All right, so we got some more wheat seeds, and we got our copper. Uh, let's see. Till you, plant you there, and we'll just see how it goes. Now, I don't remember. If this is actual right here, and this works as water is hydrating these blocks, I cannot remember the range at which it goes. It should go all the way out to those over there, but who knows, right? I mean, I guess we can just try it and see. We'll do like this. We'll get another row of wheat going. I did three. That way, for each row that I decide to pick up, I can make sure I get enough for one piece of bread. So every time these things get fully harvested, it's one, two, three, four, five. That'd be ten pieces of bread worth of food right there. So that should be, should be enough to kind of keep me sustained for a little bit. These free berries I found are fantastic, but, you know, I... Don't want to have to survive just on berries. All right, let's see if I can remember how to do this because it's been a minute. Actually, I'm not even going to act like I remember how to do it. Let me do... Wait, is that right there? Shield. Okay, so I need to have some planks and one piece of iron ingot. My last iron ingot. We definitely need to go get some more of that. So, hang on, let me just boom like that and boom. We have a shield. Sweet. Now, I will be honest, the last time I played Minecraft, there were no shields. It's been a good little minute here, so that's something I'm going to be having to get used to, is having this actual shield here. Oh, hang on, I need to make a couple more fences, too. So it's like this, like that, that'll give me the last three. And then I can finish working on this little piece of the farm over here without it looking completely stupid. Get my dirt back. There we go. Good to go. All right, looks like all of this is growing just nicely. That's nice. Oh, uh, hang on. Didn't I have some other seeds over here? I've got pumpkin seeds. 
Um, uh, you know what? Let's here. Let's wait. Where did I put my pumpkin seed? Let's put you like this. Just see what happens. We'll plant one right there and just kind of see what happens before I do too much more over here. This is not a humongous garden or anything, but it's at least kind of a start. Okay, let me dump a few things off. Let me see. I don't need you. Though, let me see. I don't need my hoe with me right now. We got some bread in case things go terrible. We got some eh, dirt's good enough as far as like a block to stack with. Good to go. That's a pretty good start. That's a pretty good start. Now, um, I do not know how to make a gate. I'm sure I can figure it out, but I just haven't made one yet. All right, so the last place I wanted to look was right over that direction. We kind of came up and by one last time in one of the first videos for this series. I want to look to see if there's a good cave system. Hey, what's up, horsey? Or are you a cow? A good cave system that I can get to without having to do the mining stuff. There's a fox and a horse down there. Okay, tell you what. Let's, uh, here, let's do this. No, that's definitely a good way to hurt yourself. Let's go. Whoa, calm down. Trying to just make some stairs to get down to this little cave. Put you like that and we can... Is this an actual cave? What's up, horses? All right, let me let me hear. Let me help you out here. Let me do like this. There you go. Now you got some stairs. You can go like this. Let me get rid of this block. You can go put up down like this up over there. There you go. And that's how you get out. What do we have in here? There's something glowing. Is this just the other side that I just dig down into it? You're all right. I'm not coming after you. Ooh, I don't know this song. That is another thing that I love about Minecraft is the music, the chill piano music when you're, is this, um, hang on. What are you? Diorite. I knew that. I don't remember what you used diorite for. Actually, I had, it's not a remember thing. When diorite was added to the game the last time I was playing this game, it didn't have a use. It was a decorative thing. Ooh, that might be a cave. Okay, let's make us some stairs going down so we can get in and out easily. I do have some torches with me. Let's get the food up. I got a shield. Technically, I need to kill myself a spider so I can get or find a spider web so that I can get some string, make a fishing pole, make a bow. What are you? Um. I don't know what that was. I thought that was a block, but apparently it was like a moss or something on there. Oh, also a pro tip. If that's kind of cool. If you didn't know a pro tip when you're going down to the caves to be able to find your way out is always put torches on the right hand side of the wall. That way, when you're coming back out, you can just follow around, make sure the torches are on your left and you're good to go. And I think that's the end of what would be considered the cave. Okay. Is this a thing? Can I Oh, it illuminates that. Okay, that's... What is that? Huh. Well, if you know what that is, feel free to, uh, you know, drop it in the comments. Because I don't know what that is. That's kind of cool. Nothing down there. More diorite and stone, of course. But we don't need that right now. Let's get up out of here. I wanted to see if I could find an actual cave so I know where it's at here. Because we're going to have to go get some more iron. We used the last little, bu uh, last little bit to make this shield and the bucket. So we need to make sure we can find a good cave... Like, right over there is where we found the copper last time. And, uh, let me see. Go down this way. I might as well get the coal while I'm sitting here. We use some of it to make some torches. We might as well get as much as we can. Nice. That's a good coal vein. All right. So, yeah, I definitely hear what sounds like a pig. I'm trying to find the area that I was at last time. Was it on the other side of this area? Now, let me backtrack a little bit more around this way. We may have turned one little corner a little early. Yeah, here's where I was supposed to be. I was trying to get over there. I went one more over that way. We're not going into the cave just yet. That's going to be an entirely vid entire video by itself. I'm keeping these at a relatively decent le uh, length so that they're not dragging on and on and on. I just wanted to see if this is actually a cave or if it's just, you know, where the river ends, basically. So let me throw a torch down right there so we can see. Looks like there's some more copper. Maybe kind of goes off that direction a little bit. You definitely go down. So, ooh. Let's, uh, I want to peek down here real quick and see. There's a source of light down here, but I don't know what it is. Well, let's go find out. 
Wait, what did I just pick up? Oh, I have andesite and diorite. Ew, cool. I don't know what either one of those are for. What is making this light over here? Let me see if I can chop away just enough to be able to see it. Oh, I see a, I see a creeper up in there. Yeah, I'm not sure what's creating the light. It could be the glow that I saw on the last blocks right there. It, that could be what it is. I see some bats over there, too. Okay, well, this is what we're going to do the next time we actually play. We're going to head into this cave system and see if we can't find some cool stuff in there. If nothing else, we need to be able to restock on the supplies of things that we do have. Let me go ahead and get the copper while I'm here. Oh, I wonder if... I wonder if I need the blast furnace for copper that I saw in one of the dude's houses. I wonder if that's what I need that for and if it turns it into like raw copper or copper ingots. I don't know. Um, I'm honestly new when it comes to the world of copper in this game. Wrong one. Let me get you. Try not to drown. Awesome. All right. Well, I would say that... Uh-oh. That's a little deeper than I thought it was. I'm going to fall right... Wait. Can I just... Hang on. I'm not going to... Oh, nice. We could swim down there. Again, not going to because it's a good way to drown. I'd rather be able to have a nice sustainable way to get up. Sweet. Okay, so we're going into this cave in the next video for sure. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to keep these a little bit shorter. I would say we got quite a bit done today. We got, you know, the rest of our house is kind of completed a bit. We got a farm going, so we have a nice sustainable source of food. We got ourselves an infinite water source. We can see our freaking house over there. And eventually I'm probably going to chop down like most of the trees around the village just so I can see a little easier. And having no trees makes it far more difficult for mobs to spawn in and around the general area. Because some of them, you know, like zombies and skeletons, they're not big fans of the daylight. They get all burnt up. So we're going to get a nice sleep in here. We'll pick up in the next video when we're getting ready to head off to the cave and see what kind of fun stuff we can find there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. In the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day. Now, I'll talk to you later.